Hello everyone, this is Lam. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to pour with these colors on the white background. And I'm bringing out two cups because I'm going to separate the blues and the pinks. So I'm doing the blues and the turquoise in one cup with the greens. Now I have a few different greens and then the golds. And I'm going down from the darkest to lightest and then to gold and then going back up lighter to darker and that's one cup now i'm going to do the purples and the pinks so i'm starting with this neon pink that is liquitex and i'm putting gold on top of it because i love the gold mixed with the neon pink that makes a really pretty orange color peachy orange and then i do the the, the magenta and the purples and then I go back down to magenta and pink and then the gold again now I'm going to pour the white base it's my usual white mix and just do a little puddle and then I am going to flip the pink cup one two three <laughs> Okay, this is looking quite pretty. See, I am obsessed with neon pink. I mean, the fluorescent pink. It doesn't matter what brand. It can be Liquitex or some other brand, but as long as it's neon pink or fluorescent pink, whatever you call it, it just looks so vibrant. And it looks wonderful with gold and with purple. I mean, whatever, fi uh, lilac, purple plum metallic I just love it and now I'm deciding what to do next so this time I want to have some negative space so I was going to pour the blue over it but decided no not to what am I going to do with this patch of color I could tilt it out but I want to do something first so i took out a straw and start blowing this is a 12 by 16 so it's a little bit too small for a blow dryer and so i'm going to blow with my with my mouth now yeah because there's quite a bit of color under that white on the edges so i want to blow it out a little and now i tilt and I'm going for a little bit of negative space this time, so I'm not going to let the color cover the whole canvas. Okay, that is good. Color looks pretty. Now I take out the blue and green cup and going to splash little puddles. Now, Mallet, <laughs> my signature move. And I'm making some leaf here. And I think this is the first time I did it. The green with the with such a purple pink underneath it. So some of the leaves turn out purple and pinkish, which is quite pretty. And not all leaves have to be blue and green. There could be some other colors that adds interest. Now I'm trying to decide if I should make more leaves. Yeah, why not? So. No. Pound away. Oh, those leaves are a little bit bigger than I intended. Yeah, they're big and round, but they'll work. Okay, I'm going to add more color over there using the little bit that is left in the paint cup and i decided those big round leaves are too big so i'm just going to make smaller leaves on top of that yes that looks better and that all, that second round of mallet smashes actually pull out some of the colors those pink gold color from underneath so that looks quite pretty 
Now I take out my glove balloon and start um, rolling it, trying to make maybe a flower there. And no, not enough colors. So add more pink and purple, violet, gold. Because I already have so much green. So the flowers need to be pink and purple. Now close up of my balloon rose flowers. Look how pretty. You just roll and then let it develop. Now I take out my slotted spoon. The slotted spoon is good for making the center. You see those little, uh, what do you call it? The center of the flower. So, yes, yeah, a little bit more. It's looking pretty, but I want to do a little bit more. Look at those bubbles. Okay, so that's one flower done. And I'm going to do another one in the middle of the leaves. Now I am going to do another close up so that you can see again how I make my flowers. This time I'm starting out with a slotted spoon. And I just love how those bubbles pop. Now I'm going to add more white because there's so much color around it. So I need the white to, to make it pop. So now here is my glove balloon. And you don't need to smash it real hard. Just touch and let it develop. Okay, now I decided to add more colors. I always like to add a lot of colors because remember, the balloon would take out paint, so it does. Uh, so don't worry about putting too much paint on it. And also, the slotted spoon does the same thing too. It takes out some of the paint. So make sure you wipe off the spoon really well after each dip, because you don't want the old color on the spoon to mix with. The, uh, the colors on the canvas that would make it all muddy and you can always dip it with your finger remember your fingers are the best tools okay after torching a little bit what am I going to do next they maybe add a little bit to that flower at the top because I was still not too crazy about the colors up there so I want to break it up a little bit with an other petal okay now I'm rolling over there I'm trying to pull up some colors from underneath but there is no color underneath so in order to make another flower there which I am about to do because I needed another flower to balance the composition. So I'm going to add some pink and some deep violet, gold, and pink, metallic. Now, generous amount of white on top. Okay, my glove balloon. Just roll it, roll it, roll it. Uh, okay, not too crazy about it. Add more white. Spoon. Purples. Okay. Balloon again. Okay, this time is looking better. And cotton ball. When in doubt, add more colors. Because after smashing it for a while, the colors start getting muddy and too pale, so it's time to add more colors.
Okay, it's looking pretty. The cotton balls really work well in this kind of details. And finger dip a little bit. Okay, so that is looking good. And I should have left it like that, but no. <laughs> I decided to add more leaves. And this time I'm actually adding some pink and purple on top of the green and pound it out. Because I am quite in love with the variegated colorful leaves. But unfortunately, the malice meshes disturb the flower. So now I'm going to have to make the flower again. This time I'm just going to roll with a cotton ball. And I'm trying not to go too fancy here. Now this time it is mostly white, the flower. And I decided to leave it this way because I already meddled with it too much. The only thing that I may add is that I will probably add a little bit more colors in the center of the last flower. In fact, that's what I'm doing, dipping my finger in the paint and adding a little bit of colors back into the middle of that flower to make it prettier and really that's all I need to do because the rest of the composition is pretty well finished okay so here is the final result I quite like the flow and also the integration of colors into the leaves what do you think now here's the dry result. I just love the colorful leaves. I thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to see more of my art, please visit my website at lamjasmineart.com. You have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.